the chairman of our board. We have strengthened communication with our source brand by increasing, become a wonderful example for neighboring countries. <laughs> by working with them to meet international exit opportunities, to thank you, East East Africa engineer, I'd like to express my gratitude to our distinguished guest. As we say here at Isuzu, of Japan, Mr. Kit East Africa, distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, Isuzu East Africa team for inviting us to such an auspicious occasion. This investment goes beyond just an ins Please let me emphasize that this is partners, members of the fourth estate, honored and extremely delighted that Qatari State Department for Trade Mr. Your Excellency, sir, allow me to invite Madam Tributor to the Exchequer, earning recognition from the Kenya Revenue Authority. Water leak tests, uh, boots, a new uh, from 12,000 units per year to 24,000 units in printing that uses electric current to ensure the paint reaches all surfaces of us. Also available to other auto manufacturers in the industry, the vehicle contain over 40% local content, which includes paint, vehicle bodies, environment. The vehicle leasing program. During this period, is local automotive industry to export competitiveness. Number four, Your Excellency. Paint brand. On behalf of East Africa, Your Excellency, we thank you for visiting Isuzu acquired 50. Isuzu Motors came into the business, has since 2017 became a training hub. And after sales businesses, we Excellency Kitagawa Yasuhisha, the in sustainable economic growth. Our Prime Minister, Mr. Fumio Kishida. Our own history in Japan proves that the growth of manufacturing sector and Central African nations through technical cooperation. To the technical... <laughs> we want to encourage Isuzu East Africa and other investors to deepen their investment in the country by moving into tier one component manufacturing and rapidly graduating to fully integrated manufacturing plants. This is why we are taking measures to conclude the preparation of the automotive bill in order to guarantee the implementation of the policy and formation of the council. P.S. That exercise should be concluded in the next 120 days. And whatever matters, whatever matters that are outstanding in court, we need to negotiate them out of the courts and get ourselves moving the way we've done in other sectors. We are also proceeding to review existing regulations and standards guided by the objective of enhancing the performance of our automotive industry. We are intent on fully exploiting the immense opportunity presented in the form of our automotive industry's untapped potential. We shall listen, partner, collaborate, and engage industry actors in a committed and intentional manner until the share of automotive industry in manufacturing as well as the share of manufacturing to our GDP moves sharply in a positive direction as we have committed ourselves. I am delighted to be here at the Isuzu East Africa facility today to witness history in the making as the company leads our automotive industry to a decisive leap forward. The decision to incorporate the state-of-the-art processes to enhance the standard of local vehicle production to world-class standard is a highly encouraging demonstration of intent by Isuzu to endow the Kenyan manufacturing scene with advanced technologies and enable it attain excellence. This is commendable, especially because this commitment introduces the first electro deposition paint plant in our region, which comes at a cost of, I'm informed, Kenya shillings 500 million. 
I want to say to the Isuzu family, congratulations. Notably, the plant is one component of a drive by Isuzu East Africa to deepen its manufacturing operations in order to improve local vehicle production and make it globally competitive. Other enhancements include upgrading the assembly line production for new vehicle models, expanding the service workshop and the installation of various plant and machinery to improve production processes. In total, Isuzu East Africa has invested 1.3 billion shillings within the last four years in the expansion and upgrade, sending a clear and bold signal of its confidence in Kenya as an investment uh, destination. I would like to believe that this is a positive response to our policy measures which we have undertaken to provide incentives for investors to bring or increase their investments into Kenya. And I want to commit that the momentum for the enhanced um, participation of the Kenya government, especially in the realm of providing incentives for manufacturing, is a commitment that I want to make, building on what we have done already, that we are going to not only stay the path, but we are going to accelerate the momentum. Our incentives package for the manufacturing sector is aimed at increasing its contribution to the national GDP to 20% by 2030. I was speaking about this subject this morning. We did undertake six, seven years ago that we wanted to enhance our uh, manufacturing as a contribution of GDP from 9 to 15%. Unfortunately, it went backwards from 9 to 7.2%. It is the reason why we are now deliberate and intentional on making sure that our policy initiatives speak to manufacturing directly. The reason why we have in our budget this year incentives on how we can use local paint. And I was very pleased, Madam Gavashe told me that they can get all the paint they need produced locally. There is therefore no justification whatsoever for us to continue importing paint which we can manufacture locally. And that is why we have um, in our budget this year um, provided for incentives for local production by making sure that those who want to import it uh, pay uh, some measure of taxing. Same thing we are doing around manufacturing in other areas. Steel manufacture is another area. We have developed sufficient local capacity. There is no justification anymore for us to continue importing steel, which we can manufacture locally. Same with cement, same with furniture. These are among the issues we are doing which are intentional, which are deliberate, and which are practical on making sure that we build our manufacturing capacity. And I want to tell Isuzu East Africa, as I tell all our other manufacturers, you can count on the government of Kenya to continue to provide these policy interventions so that we can enhance local manufacturing. For us to get to 15% manufacturing as a percentage of our GDP by 20 in the next five years, and for us to get to 20% by uh, 2030, it has to be deliberate. It has to be intentional. It has to be practical. It cannot, through, it cannot be through guesswork. We just have to be deliberate on what we are doing. Of course, as we do that, there will be issues raised uh, from different quarters. I have encouraged our brothers at the Kenya Association of Manufacturing to work with us on this uh, trajectory. Um, and, I, and I was uh, asking them the other day, how can the Kenya Association of uh, Manufacturing 
be opposed to incentives that enhance manufacturing. It's a contradiction, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is time for Kenya to claim its rightful place among Africa's leading vehicle manufacturers. South Africa's industry, for example, supports 100,000 direct jobs and over 350,000 indirect jobs, which produces 420,000 vehicles, 106,000 of which are exported. Morocco produces 248,000 vehicles, out of which 173,000 are exported, and in the process creates over 160,000 jobs. While Egypt's automotive industry employs 70,000 people directly and produces 80,000 vehicles in 2020, with projections to scale up to 500,000 vehicles with exports of 100,000 vehicles. With investments like the electro deposition paint plant by Isuzu East Africa and its expansion and upgrade, upgrading project, I am confident that Kenya can propel itself back to original vision, which was to lead African automotive competitiveness throughout the Africa continental free trade area. I will be making a trip tomorrow very early morning at 6 to Zambia for a meeting on COMESA and how we can bring together COMESA, East African community, and SADC into one ecosystem and one market with 720 million people and a GDP of $1.3 billion. As we consolidate the African market, our manufacturers must focus on the bigger opportunity that comes with a consolidated market not just looking at Kenya, but looking at the region as well. I have heard it is uh, Toyota East Africa. Maybe it's going to be Toyota something. Not Toyota, but Isuzu. It's Isuzu East Africa at the moment. Maybe shortly we will be talking about Isuzu Africa, and we can be able to build that market together.